2013 government passed the act national food security act of 2013 and they legalized the process now it's the legalized process and the government will be give food grains to the people of the country and under this 2013 nfsa act almost 80% of the population almost 80 crores people 80 crores people are the beneficiary under this national food security act so 80 crores are dependent on nfsa so this is the historical background of public distribution system in the country कहने में आसान है कि पीडीए से पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम है और लगता है कि बहुत आसानी से डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो जाता होगा बट दिस इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स सिस्टम एंड मेनी स्टेक होल्डर्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन द सिस्टम सो लेट्स सी द मेनली स्टेक होल्डर्स इन्वॉल्व एंड द लेक्यू नाइन द सिस्टम दिस पीडीए इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द फार्मर farmers growing the crops central government announcing the msp for those crops minimum support price then the central government through fci central government through fci buy these grains at msp minimum support price but there is a question mark up to what limit fci can buy is this is a unlimited procurement or there is a some limit given by the government of india till now this is a unlimited procurement till the space is filled the fci ke baad jitna space hai वो फील्ड हो जाएगा तब तक वो प्रोक्योरमेंट लेते रहेंगे बट नाउ द गवर्नमेंट इंट्रोड्यूस द ग्रेडिंग सिस्टम कि हाउ टू नेगलेक्ट नाउ द कैटेगराइज द ग्रेन इन टू द मल्टीपल कैटेगरी ए क्लास बी क्लास सी क्लास नाउ दे डिमांडिंग वी नीड दिस क्लास ए क्लास होगा तो हम प्रोक्योर करेंगे बी क्लास को हम नहीं करेंगे अगर करेंगे तो कम प्राइस पे करेंगे so that the farmers are discouraged and they are going to grow a class and it is not easy high yielding variety seeds chahiye good fertilizers chahiye high irrigation chahiye so this is the central government and how they procure but this procurement having a huge cost involved this procurement having a huge cost involved on fci there was a question in 2019 on this topic with are uh, the cost involved in the fci procurement